Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and yes, today we are going over the top Warframe YouTubers going into 2022. I'm doing this purely based on like sub count, just YouTube relevance search, so let's take a look. If we go search up Warframe on YouTube, and then just filter it this way, it's too much of a shit show to manually look for every top channel, right? So we're gonna be doing it this way. This is an okay way, it's more manual searching, but it's okay. So first we have Play Warframe, no shock there. The creation of the video game is the top Warframe YouTuber, shock. That's all in all pretty meaningless, right? That is not an actual Warframe channel. Warframe as a topic, this is actually a thing on YouTube if you weren't aware. Games and whatnot are straight up like, little subcategories on YouTube where you can like sub to the game, watch trailers, check things out, like recent, live, like for when I live stream. YouTube's really weird, so their VOD directory and like things like this kinda sucks, so no one really gives a shit. But yeah, this is, fun fact, a thing. So yeah, good job, uh, Topic Warframe. You got your boy Triburus. Triburus? Triburus? Uh, I'm terrible with words. You got him. Look at that, 141k subs. You got those every two, three month videos. Man slaying it. Still, technically, a top Warframe YouTuber with top quality meme videos. Look at that. Oh, Trip builds an igloo for nearly two hours. See, classic, classic right there. <laughs> But yeah, no, Trib's still a, still definitely a big Warframe content creator. He just creates content very, very short, like once in a while Blue Moon-esque. Lot of effort, but very, very, uh, you know, six months for five videos. You can wait a month or two for a video. So expect that there. You got your boy, Mr. Warframe guy. Look, look at that. Oh shit, some people have check marks and some don't. Surprise, Shallow doesn't have a, or Shy? Quite shallow. Oh god, I she has so many like pseudonyms or like different off names that I just can't remember anymore. Got your boy, Mr. Warframe guy. Makes his weekly Mimi Warframe content. Good shit, good shit. Low uh like length, high tier meme content right here. Top quality. You know, everyone loves your boy, the pink rhino, so can't be mad at that. Who's that? Who's that? Yep. So 10 out of 10 there. Yeah, let's take a look at Sha uh, Quite Shy. Shy? Shallow? Let's take a look at her channel. I know she's playing a lot less Warframe now, right? Because she's, like, kind of burnt out. Yeah, and she is also... Nice. Taking break, kind of kind of burnt out. I think she's doing the podcast more so right now. So, hell yeah. She's clearly still a top channel. Shy is a community meme favorite. Sweet stats. Good job. You know, slayed the YouTube memery. So, 10 out of 10 would YouTube again. Good job. Just... Good job. I'm surprised she doesn't have a check mark or anything. I don't know like what YouTube criteria is for that weird ass check mark other than 100k subs and getting accepted, but I don't know how many people care. Oh, you got your boy Stalord. Starlord? Stalord? He's, to my knowledge, mostly lore, right? Yeah, he streamed, test streams, talks about lore, soundtracks. What we know, Warframe lore, the Orvals. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm more aware of, uh, your boy for, just more Warframe lore. Yeah, 54k subs, not bad, doing good, doing good, right? Clearly, YouTube's weird, so it'll just throw out like a bunch of random sub numbers, so it doesn't perfectly sort it. Hey, train man! Oh shit, he's at 103k subs. Nice. Nice, I didn't know that we like were similar sub count. At this point, like, who fucking knows, right? Sub count on YouTube's pretty Meh, it doesn't really matter too much. More so matters how active you are, I guess. Yeah, Warframe Development Report. He has his, like, occasional videos, right? Uh, I think, does he still do long talk videos? No, no, that's, uh, what's those other people these days? It's hard for me to say. Is it a full album? Oh, are we doing Warframe music? No, nice. 2021 thoughts, yeah, okay. The 10,000 form of Aubin. Oh, shit, I don't know. Dear God, either way, congrats. Clap, 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 clap. So I think Mogamu's still classified as a Warframe channel. I think he's just like burnt out mainly on Warframe this past year. Yeah, because if you just scroll down a little bit, you see five months into one month. So looks like he got bored of Warframe for a while. Tried making some other videos, probably got bored, possibly burnt out. You know, you never really know. I don't know any of the YouTubers personally, so I'm just purely assuming, of course, right? 
and then went back on to, yeah, just making Warframe content, probably more general commentary content. Yeah, it all looks like the same style of Mogamu content, like commentary style of content. content. Okay, cool. Good job, Mogamu. Clearly still top Warframe YouTuber. Good job. Good. Clap, 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 clap. But... Yeah, it looks like he's getting back on the Warframe train. Who truly knows, though? I know a lot of longtime Warframe content creators pretty easily at this point would jump off, right? Because they have better, or like other games do. They've been playing the game for so long, they're burnt out as hell. Got your boy, Lazar. You know, doing the dailies, the weeklies, just general videos. Oh, okay, yeah, he's slowed down a lot uh, compared to like earlier in the year. That's fair, though. It's January. I expect most YouTuber content creators take their breaks in January, February, purely because of the, like, lower YouTube CPMs, right? Lower amount of just payout that you generally end up getting in start of new year. So definitely makes sense. It's a good time and definitely a good idea to enjoy the holidays with, like, friends and family and people if you can, uh, you know, choose and afford to do that and whatnot. So, yeah, clearly, bo your boy still, uh, Top tier Warframe content creation. Still on the Warframe content video grind, clearly. So, clap, 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 clap. Next up, we have ya boy Nightmare Frame. <laughs> the man who apparently hates my tier list. <gasps> You know, he makes, a, he makes, to my knowledge, mainly like 9999 high damage type build videos. Just talks about like high damage as... Yeah, no... Seems to be about the same stuff. He, he like, Nightmare Frame has the niche of he just goes, like, long-term, right? Like, Endgame-esque Warframe gameplay. That's all he, like, is known for. Endgame Eidolon hunts, uh, fast Eidolon hunts, high-level farm and weapons. That's at least what I've always known or heard him known for, right? Just high-level Endgame type builds where you get to level 9999. Clearly not most people's type of playstyle, but it's fun content that people like. Oh, look at this. Look at this tier list. Push shot. Clearly made a bad tier list compared to mine. It's fair. It's okay, Nightmare Frame. I would acknowledge that too. Clearly my tier list is the superior one. But other than that, yeah, good content creator. You know, man's doing good. I think he blew up recently somewhat like myself in the past year or two, right? I think he is more of a Twitch streamer, though. But it's hard to say with a lot of Warframe YouTubers, because a lot of them are half on Warframe on YouTube, and then spend most of their time on Twitch. I know right now I'm just doing my 24-7 VOD Twitch stream, so... Yeah, Warframe YouTube's weird like that. A lot of people are fragmented between being YouTube. Is this man a Warframe content creator? Hell yeah, kinda. I... Uh, no, that nah, doesn't really... doesn't really make much... Warframe content. Seems like just a short meme -y channel. Okay. Okay, definitely not a top 2022 content creator there, but oh well, R.I.P. Got your boy, Ashi Sogi Tenno. He is probably also hyped for all of the new Bleach stuff, but yeah, you got your boy, Ashi Sogi, makes his Warframe videos. You know, we, we all make the general videos talking about the game, new stuff, how you think about it. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, he's been more burnt out on YouTube more compared to, like, a lot of people as well. But, of course, I feel like 20, like, these past two years, you've seen so much uh, Warframe burnout from the long-term players because, like, there's just not a ton to do for long-term players. So, I mean, it totally makes sense, but you hate to see it, but it's understandable, right? A lot of people now are just chilling on Warframe. I'm hoping everyone's at least in like a good place in that regard, but who truly knows? You got Relentless Zen. To my knowledge, he posts occasionally, right? Yeah, very cinematic, like beautiful type videos. Very, uh, you know, very well made, but very infrequent. I know, I think Zen spends most of his time again on Twitch, right? That's where I would expect most uh, Warframe YouTubers that create very, very niche minimal amount of YouTube content, right? Like one, two, three, yeah, like six, seven, eight videos in the past year, right? So to my knowledge, he primarily streams on Twitch as well. But you know, he is, I still think 100% like all Warframe. So he's doing pretty good. Good job, Zen, good job. I don't know who that is, 4296 videos. What the fuck is this? Oh my God, oh. 
Oh, oh my god, it's all Manticord stuff. This is awesome. I didn't know that uh, there's a straight up Manticord cha uh, channel that like has a bunch of random Manticord. So that's actually pretty sick. That is a very specific niche and it's hilarious. So good job, Buffoon. Clearly not like a the big Warframe content creator, but like, dear God, that's a lot of Manicord videos. They're short, so they're easy to get out comparative, but damn, good job. That's commitment, I'll give him that. Hey, we got Brozyme. Is Brozyme not like a verified creator? Oh, weird. I guess some people just don't bother giving a shit about that. Uh, to my knowledge, all of Brozyme's videos these days tend to be a lot of like, uh, ripped VOD type uh, Twitch reviews, right? Cause I think he's doing the meta where he streams mainly on Twitch and then he makes a lot of videos live on Twitch, pulls the VODs, edits them, right? Throws them onto YouTube, which is technically like the YouTube content creation meta, right? Like these are just straight up his uh, like VODs for the stream. So yeah, it looks like a lot of Warframe content on Brozymes, just he's chilling, he's making way on his, is this his like new account? free to play through yeah right he's just trying to get progress on that mainly chilling on twitch but still making you know weekly videos clearly so yeah not doing bad clearly he's doing fine 10 out of 10 good there bros i'm i don't know who this is is this a is this a warframe content creator oh nice oh that's why that makes sense Damn, R.I.P. Just slowed down in the past couple of years. Fair enough, fair enough. And then you got ya boy, Grindhard Squad. Oh shit, he's almost at 200k subs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I think Grindhard Squad mainly goes about high damage, OP, like not not to shit talk or anything. Just like clickbaity type uh, thumbnails and uh, titling. I mean, to be fair, the most good typing YouTubers try to do that a little bit uh, sensationalized and clickbaity titles. Trust me, I do it as well. It's just how YouTube meta works. It's how YouTube thinks that, you know, getting people to click on your shit. It's just how it is, right? Don't go too overboard, but yeah. So that's a, that's what Grindheart Squad does. He's a robot voiced YouTuber. So I don't think he does like his actual commentary yet. I still think he's robot voiced. So you see like general, just like discussion videos, build videos. I think he generally just covers whatever he feels like, daily videos in Warframe usually, but like build videos, build, and just general talks about Warframe. But yeah, it seems like a pretty all in all, like over the top, covers most things in Warframe, but oh yeah, I guess I should mention now, 12 minutes into the video, I don't really watch much Warframe or many Warframe YouTubers. I try to just occasionally watch them, mainly only the meme -y content, purely because like, I pretty much just make too much Warframe content, so I don't wanna spend all my time watching Warframe content. Let's see, Omnivoice. Yeah, he just started streaming again, I think on Twitch. So we'll have to see where he's going, but yeah, he's slowed down for the year. Grand Art Squad, a gay guy plays, 73k subs. I'm pretty sure this dude got absolutely blasted and murdered by the Warframe community, so I think he's done. Yeah, he's gone because he was what, like really toxic and got kicked out of the content creation program. I'm not 100% sure. This like happened around when I was paying attention, but not fully. He was never a creator I watched. Uh, ta -ta, Ace Invasion plays, I think, pretty sure, oh, okay, I thought, uh, I thought they were on, uh, Twitch more often, but, no, looks like they're growing up, their channel, doing really good videos, nice, good for them, Brook, okay, a lot of, looks like, okay, yeah, looks like general build videos, good setups, like, high damage type videos, nice, they're probably gonna grow more if they continue going that route this year, good shit, good shit, nice. You got K Engineer. I think he's slowed down, right? Or has he created a lot of videos? Okay, yeah, not like daily content or anything, but yeah, definitely doing pretty good. Definitely good. Nice. So that's the thing about Warframe YouTube. We only have like 10 to 20 at any given time content creators that are over 100K or like ish subs, right? That are uh, following the game purely because the game is just kind of you know, it's kind of hit or miss. You go in and out, right? A lot of people play the game for a year, stop playing it for a while. You got Life of Rio, who I think his main thing is Warframe commentary and just kind of like, at this point, hating the game. Um, I think, uh, 
I don't know. I think he has a bad rep within the community right now, but I mean, like, people fucking shit talk everyone online and, like, Reddit and any comment section. People hate, fucking hate me. So, honestly, I don't even know at this point, but I don't watch his content. And it clearly, it's not like he went and made a ton of videos this week, year, clearly. So, yeah, I honestly, I don't know. I just know a uh, dude has a bad rep right now, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. You got Neo Ness with his videos. I know he probably spends a lot more, uh, a lot more time streaming on Twitch as well, because I think he's more of a big Twitch streamer. But it's always a, uh, it's always hard to say, right? I don't spend enough time looking at like the stats of channels of other channels and stuff. But yeah, he just covers a uh, Warframe content, trading, platinum trading. I know he has like 100k plus plat, right? Dude's going ham on his plat collection, so you got MC Gamer, CZ. I think he's still playing Warframe. He's just yeah, keeping up with everything. Keeping up with his Warframe videos. Yeah, a lot of us are just like chilling and making just random videos, taking a look at everything. Maybe I'll be taking a look at all of the busted ass new weapons, but it's always hard to say. Either way, yeah, no, he's doing pretty good. No issues there. Good shit, good shit. 10 out of 10, you got your boy, Tactical Potato, who may be, I think he's technically the biggest Warframe YouTuber right now, at least like sub count wise and just general views maybe, well sub count wise at least, but yeah, Potato, you know, doing the usual, keeping up with his Warframe stuff, talking about stuff when it releases, keeping up to date with everything, you know, clearly top YouTuber of uh, this game as he, uh, you know, got that 365k, it's, uh, 1k every day. <laughs> for a year, if you will. You got that verified badge. Yeah, dude's doing pretty good. I think, uh, think he's just chilling too. I think a lot of us are just chilling, right? You got Eiflin there, right under Potato. Who's Annoying Killer? Da, da, da. Is, this, is, this, is this a Warframe content creator? Hey! Yeah, kind of Mimi content creation and other stuff. Genshin stuff. Yeah, nah, fair enough, fair enough. But Eiflin, he's back to Warframe. I know in the past, like, year or two, Eiflin's been, oh yeah, like very much taking a break on Warframe because, eh, the Warframe burnout's hella real because it's kind of how it is. Warframe is a pretty, it's a pretty unchanging game in many ways, so if you've been it with been with it for many years, you know, you've kind of seen it all, right? So, makes sense there. Dude took a break, fair enough, still slaying it, Life Water headshot, nice. I think they stream... Life water streams more, but hard to say. We got me, your boy, Pupsker. Finally have 100k subs, that check mark. 1358 videos. Jesus, I've went hard this past year. I myself just make videos 24-7 whenever I fucking feel like it. Like, I I am a very simple man. I will make videos when I feel like making videos. They'll either do good or they will do bad. It does not matter at this point at least, so that's the nice thing. I'm just gonna make videos that I feel like making when I feel like making it. Uh, now that I've finally hit my point on YouTube or in life where I'm at like a stable uh, area, I'm just kinda happy, right? So, I'm just taking a look at stuff. You know, distant observer. What's he up to these days? Still making Warframe videos. Of course, of course. Going over Warframes, weapons, stuff like that. Nice, nice. So yeah, looks like I think those are most of the big Warframe YouTubers of 2022. You got your boy, Original Wicked Fun, right? Making the daily videos, going over all of the Warframe loots and items as well. Of course, of course. Good shit, good shit. Oh, who are these? Welcome to my channel. Are you a Warframe YouTuber? Ah, no, nah, this is more Genshin. Oh, Warframe like years ago. Jesus. How? Oh my god. Okay, I guess they used to be a Warframe. They're like a general YouTuber. Okay, it looks like those are all of the big, big Warframe channels on YouTube. Damn, there's only like 20, 30, 40 maybe. Depending, or like over 10k subs or so. But in Warframe at any given time, there are only ever a handful. Oh, okay, I believe is this okay, so a, a French Warframe YouTuber? I would assume. I think this is French, you know, my limited knowledge of French Canadian. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, obviously I wouldn't watch his content or be aware of him as uh I don't speak French. <laughs> but looks like those are the top Warframe YouTubers for 2022. 
I just felt like making this video, just taking a look at it, because why not? I still have my 24-7 YouTube VOD stream going on, so I'll still have that going for a little bit. Other than that, we're just chilling, so thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. I just felt like, uh, just felt like going over this, so we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.